embrace it. Embrace it all because understand something. If you want to be a CIA man, a confident, intelligent, and assertive guy, understand something. You are going to be insulted because you're a winner. Winners always get insulted by losers. They're going to call you arrogant. They're going to call you condescending. They're going to call you, they're going to throw a bunch of insults at you, but what they're not going to say, what they're not going to do is they're not going to be able to beat you. It is going to dog it. Anytime someone is a winner, they have haters. Name me how many people hate Tom Brady and the Patriots, but you know who doesn't hate them? Patriots fans. People hate the Dallas Cowboys because they're called America's team. All winners have haters. Now, we understand that at the high levels, you know, and as sports and entertainment, but here at the, in the middle levels, trying to get to the elite levels and to the top 10%, I need you guys to understand something. People are going to come at you. They're going to say, you're, like I said, one of the biggest ones they're going to call you is you're, you're, you're full of yourself. You think you're so this, you think you're so that. You know who are going to say that? People who are trying to keep you down. They're not telling you that because they think less of you. They're telling you that because you have the nerve to believe in yourself and stand on what it is you believe. You're going to have men throw it at you, but what you're not going to have is some guy who's above, above you or better than you throwing it at you. You're never going to have somebody that you're trying to compete with saying you're arrogant. He's going to say, all right, that's, that's, what, that's what I mean. Do it. Be courageous. Push, push, push. That's right. Matter of fact, you're gonna have winning kind of guys be like, yeah, yeah, do that, do that. You know the guys who are gonna throw it at you? The guys who don't wanna do the work. Guys that don't want you to put, make it so hard for them. Then of course they're gonna call you all these things. Look at him, you over there trying to be opportunistic and you over there trying to schmooze and you over there trying to glad hand. I'm gonna keep it real. It's always to keep it real dudes. What they're really saying is I want, to, I want you to stay down here. I don't want you to shine so bright it makes it hot on me. Could you, could you not be so good? Could you, could you not shine so bright? Could you not make me look like I'm just average and mediocre? That's what's at the basis of all this other kind of stuff. And I get so tired of guys who are smart, who are accomplished, who are capable, who have the stuff that it takes dumbing themselves down to make other people feel better. Listen to me when I tell you this. Man, there have been so many times that guys have thought, if I just failed, if I just failed, they'd like me more. And what you're gonna find is if you fail, you become just like the people that you think would like you more, they're going to not, they're gonna still not like you. Matter of fact, they're gonna resent you. They're gonna say, look, I understand why I'm a failure. I understand why I didn't do it, but look, he had all these opportunities. He ended up right here. You don't do them any favors by failing. You know what you do? You go ahead and become the man you need to be. You go ahead and get up to the top, the top of the top, 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 the tippy, tippy top. You get your name up on Mount Rushmore. You climb, you climb Everest, you make as much, you go as high, you go as far as you can and let the haters stand outside and call you whatever outside of the gates. That's right, outside the gates of your mansion, outside, while you're flying on your G6, let them call you all that cr crap from coach or on the bus. I'm a firm believer in this. That's why I was gonna make notes on this, but I'm sorry, I'm just going off the cuff because I have seen this stuff so much in my life. I've had the people throw stuff like that at me, but you know what, I've never had somebody doing better than me call me any of this stuff. And it's one of the things, it's one of the few things that you can rest assured that if you want to be better than 90% of people, you're going to have people throw shit at you. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. Especially the men that you are beating. Now, let's whip it up. The women that say it, the women that say it, they don't understand it. Why? Why they understand it? Because you make it harder for them to actually keep your attention. Oh, did I say that out loud? See, if you are, I've never had a woman call me arrogant or I'm gonna take that back, take it back. Let me not be a hyper, hyperbolic. Arrogant is a compliment for most women. Arrogant is a compliment for most women because it's like, damn, you got balls. You have, you have courage. You have the, you actually have the courage of your convictions. You have enough to stand on it and say it directly to their face and not flinch. So embrace it. Embrace the arrogance. What's the difference between cocky and confidence? Is see, it's not bragging if it's true. If you're a winner, you're a winner. It's not bragging. Difference between cocky and confidence, I, I look at it, you can be cocky when you have the confidence that you know you're gonna put the work in to get it done. There's one thing to sit around and talk about something, 
and you don't have the work, the hashtag show your work, you don't have the receipts, you don't have the numbers, you don't have the facts, you don't have the data, you just have the belief in yourself. Well, I'm still a proponent for that because here's the thing, only you know whether or not you're gonna do the work. But if you can say you're gonna do great things, you're gonna be great because you know that you're gonna do the work, then do it, say it. Say it and make it and put the pressure on yourself. Put the pressure on yourself to hold yourself accountable. So when you do make the result, when you do do, when you accomplish what it is you say you're gonna accomplish, nobody can say anything other than, he may be arrogant, he may be cocky, he may be this. Yeah, but he also got it done. He delivered. Don't have to like him, but there's the result. So that's why I love this whole business of image. It's about outcomes. It ain't, it ain't bragging if it's true. So like I can say embrace the arrogance. You might as well go ahead and get to learn to like it, learn to love it. Because you do no one any favors by saying, you know what, I'm gonna dim my light. I'm not gonna wear my suit on Saturday. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna dress better. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do that. Matter of fact, I'll just sit around here and be like everybody else. Then they'll like me more. No, they won't. They won't like you anymore and you won't like yourself anymore either because you know good and doggone well you're cheating yourself. I don't want you to cheat yourself to make somebody else feel comfortable. I want you to make your competition sweat. I want you to make it hard on your competition. I want you to make it hard on the women who want to be in your life. Because if you're going to win, you're going to get out there and do what it, do what it takes to succeed. And I wonder you'll get all the results. What do you think? Client people out here are the millionaires and billionaires, people who are rich and wealthy. What do you think they do? They still eat. Well, you know what? I'm going to eat spam. I'm going to eat peanut butter and jelly because I don't want a man forget that mess. Many people don't know how rich and wealthy people actually live, but I tell you what, they don't live worrying about what, what people who have less than them think about them. They really don't. They may say it in public, but they don't. Tywin Lannister, the lion doesn't, the lion doesn't concern himself with the opinions of the sheep. What do you want to be? If you want to be a lion, guess what? You're going to have to eat some sheep. You're going to have to eat a whole bunch of stuff, and none of your prey likes to be eaten. What are you going to do? Become a vegetarian? Go eat some grass? Go be nice to it, talk to it, man, be a lion. Do what you have to do. Embrace the arrogance. It's one of your superpowers. Peace. Hey guys, whether look, style, or life, whether personal or professional, you can level up and be your personal best each and every day. If you're interested in any of that, do us both a favor, follow the link in the description and book your one-on-one -on -one session with me. Details down in the description. Peace.